What's up everybody, this is Master EN Gamer. Blizzard hit it out of the park this year with the 2020 Overwatch Summer Games event. From the awesome new skins to the amazingly fun new Lucio Ball Remix mode, everything about Summer Games this year was exactly what players want to see from the Overwatch events. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss why exactly I think Blizzard did such a great job with this event in particular, how it could be a very good indicator of things to come in the near future, and also, at the very end, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for some Overwatch Summer Games loot boxes, which you won't want to miss out on. So stay tuned for that, and now, let's get on to the video. So starting off, let's talk about these fantastic skins. Now, right off the bat, I have to acknowledge that cosmetics are always very subjective in terms of what people like. Everybody has their own favorite designs and aesthetics that they like to look for when it comes to skins, and some people just don't care about cosmetics at all, and that's all fine. But overall, I have to say that personally, I'm a huge fan of the vast majority of these skins, and overall, I think Blizzard did an amazing job when it comes to the level of detail in these skins and also just the cleverness of the different skins they went with. As many of you likely heard in my other videos, I'm personally not the biggest fan of the Surf's Up Echo skin, but I have to give Blizzard credit that they went with a very unique and very interesting design for it. The use of surfboards for her body and wings in particular works really well, and using water to make up parts of her body and her head and… hair, I guess you would call that? fits really well with the existing aesthetic of Echo, and works well on the Summer Games theme. And this can be extended to all the skins we got with this event. I think all of them could be considered pretty top tier in terms of the cosmetic selections we typically get, and even the epic skins in particular, that Ice Cream Arisa and Sandcastle Bastion, those are both amazing. The Sandcastle Bastion one in particular, I could very easily see that one even being a legendary skin, but nope, it's just an epic skin, and you get it as part of the weekly challenges. If I had to pick one skin, which I think is a bit lackluster, at least in comparison to the others, it'd probably have to be Tracer's skin, given that it's just one of the nationality flag skins that many heroes have gotten over the years. I'm sure there's a lot of people who will love equipping this skin, but just on a design level, it's kind of basic, I guess I would say. Nothing wrong with it, for sure, just sort of simple. Anyways, I don't want to talk too long about the skins specifically in this video, since I already did my initial reaction video to seeing the new skins, and I think you all have a pretty good impression from that video of what I think of them. So next, I want to move on to talking about the Lucio Ball Remix game mode. While skin designs may be subjective, I think we all have to admit that Blizzard did an amazing job of this new game mode. Sure, there's still going to be people who don't enjoy playing it, and that's fine, but the clear amount of effort Blizzard put into this new mode compared to past Summer Games events really sticks out to me, and I for one am incredibly happy to see Blizzard do something like this. After four years of getting the exact same Lucio Ball mode with maybe only a few little tweaks to Lucio's mechanics, or the inclusion of the Copa Lucio Ball mode, which is the competitive version, Lucio Ball has just been the same, and people have always complained about it because, let's be honest, it wasn't that much fun. It was fun for a little bit, not on the long-term side of things, though. And every year, people always said, oh, what if they added a new Lucio Ball sport, like hockey or something, or they added some crazy new maps or something for the existing Lucio Ball. And every year, we were let down until this year. The Lucio Ball remix mode is basically everything people were asking for. You get what are essentially brand new maps with new terrain and jump pads in them to make it more hectic and give Lucio more things to wall ride on, which I think is perfect. They have the inclusion of the multi-ball mode, which, just for the record, I 100% called they would do that. And overall, the mode just feels so much more hectic and fast-paced and exciting and fun. Now, I'm sure there will be some die-hard Lucio Ball fans who insist on only playing it the Copa Lucio Ball, where people are taking it super seriously, and you have extremely long goal replay features for whatever reason. And that's fine, people can like whatever they want. But personally, I think the majority of people are going to love playing this newer, faster-paced version of it. That doesn't mean it'll be replayable forever. I'm sure, like, the normal Lucio Ball, eventually people are going to get tired of it, since it is designed to basically just be a fun little thing you get to play once or twice a year, and certainly won't be able to compete with the actual main game modes for competitive and quick play. But in terms of Blizzard finally giving us something fresh to do in the game, 
This is amazing, and I have to wonder if this is going to set some sort of new precedent for Overwatch events going forward. We've already started to see Blizzard start to give us a bit more with events, at least when it comes to mixing up and tweaking the existing game modes. For example, this year's Archives event had the new Challenge missions, which gave you new things to do and different ways to play the existing PvE missions. The Lunar New Year event introduced Capture the Flag Blitz, which was a nice twist on the existing Capture the Flag game mode. But I think out of all the event changes we've had over the past 12 months, Lucio Ball Remix is by far the most substantial. And maybe I shouldn't do this, but I am getting a little optimistic about what Blizzard might end up doing with the next event, Halloween Terror, when it comes to Junkenstein's Revenge. Could we possibly be seeing some substantial changes to that mode as well? I've got my fingers crossed, but probably not a good idea to get my hopes up too high for that. The last thing I'll say on it though is that this year's Summer Games event has made me feel genuinely optimistic about Overwatch again. Which might be a bit harsh to say, but honestly, in the drought we've been going through leading up to Overwatch 2, there hasn't been a lot of real exciting new content to get our hands on. So seeing Blizzard having put so much effort into this specific Summer Games event really makes me excited to see what they have in store for us in the months ahead. Overwatch 2 is still a way off, but in the meantime, maybe Blizzard is going to keep hitting us with these nice little exciting fresh new twists on the existing events, and I gotta say, I certainly hope they keep it up. But if the new skins and Lucio Ball mode aren't enough to get you excited for this event, then maybe you'll be excited to hear that I'm giving away free Summer Games loot boxes courtesy of Blizzard themselves. That's right, Blizzard gave me three loot box activation codes, each redeemable for five Summer Games loot boxes, to give away to three lucky winners between now and August 12th. Entering the giveaway is as easy as subscribing to this YouTube channel, following me on Twitter at MasterENGamer, and then clicking the link at the top of the description to verify your entries. In a week from now, I'll announce the giveaway winners, so I wish you all luck in being one of those three winners. But otherwise, let me know your thoughts on the 2020 Summer Games event. Are you loving it as much as I am? Or maybe you're just not impressed. Either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter at MasterIanGamer, hit up that bell icon, and come join my Discord server to hang out and never miss any future Overwatch content. Special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible, and if you'd like to join them and earn some cool rewards, then just hit that join button down below. Otherwise, this is MasterIanGamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.